We're following breaking news on CBS and Denver. Can you walk us through what's new today? New today is we're still continuing the investigation. As everybody knows, Gail Wilson went missing on Halloween and it was reported missing to the Lakewood Police Department um, by family. We have found his truck. We found his truck at the uh, near I-25 and Colfax on November 5th. And then yesterday, November 11th, we did make two arrests regarding this case. Uh, we arrested 35-year-old Ricardo Gonzalez Perez and 25-year-old Savannah Nicole Wilson. On uh, Ricardo was charged with a, uh, first degree murder and Savannah was charged with accessory to first degree murder and both are being housed at the Jefferson County Jail at this time. Can you kind of just explain the relationship? I mean I know that's his daughter. The family's also telling me biologically, though, it's his great, great niece. Can you explain the family relationship? I think we're still working on details of that family relationship. I do know that Savannah is related to Mr. Wilson. Um, as of right now, we're still working on those connections, so I don't want to give too much information out at that time. Do you know anything about um, she, her being adopted by Gail? I do not have any of that information. Do we have a motive yet? We are still working on that. There's, there's aspects of this investigation that has led us to that point that I don't want to release at this time as the investigation is still still moving forward. We're still working on those. Um, that release that was sent out regarding the red truck with the uh, items in the back of the truck, we're still working on finding the remains of Mr. Wilson. So that's why this is still kind of, we're still withholding some information as we still try to work through the details. But even without the remains, still believing that this is a that is correct. We do believe that uh, Mr. Wilson was murdered and we had made arrest in regards to that murder. Can you tell if it was physical evidence that, uh, that brought to the arrest or what was it? I'm, I'm not going to release that at this time. Are you looking somewhere specifically for the remains? Do you have any leads on that? We're working on it. One of the things that our investigators are, are really needing at this time is any surveillance area from that press release, from that map, the area that we sent out that we have kind of narrowed down where those remains may be. We're looking for any witnesses, any tips, any business videos that anybody feels like they want to go through that or maybe remember seeing that red truck that would assist us in locating those remains. Um, from what I have, it's in the area of Col it's kind of a large area, Colfax, Broadway, Sixth uh, Avenue area near Colfax and Broadway and York. Um, We've kind of narrowed it down possibly in that area from October 31st from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. roughly. Has any, anyone come forward with video that has been helpful? Not that I've been notified. Is there any relationship between Savannah and Ricardo? Uh, that relationship I don't know. Um, I think those two have some sort of relationship, but I have not been told that. It looks like he was also picked up yesterday perhaps, or uh, yeah, just for a unwanted sexual contact. That I don't know. Um, all I know is that they were both were arrested by Lakewood yesterday um, by agents and detectives. Can you, I know you can't say what exactly led to the release. It's a homicide case. Can you talk about like, what that started to shift? Because um, I think for a long period of time, you know, you know, I don't know what it's called, but it's about the trauma of the death. You know, as the investigation progressed and we kind of looked at Mr. Wilson's home and as we kind of worked through once once it shifted from a missing person that once we started believing maybe there were some suspicious activities you know you know time frame probably played a lot of, of play in that and just as we interviewed family and the initial reporting party as we as we found more information it led us to believe that it was more under sus suspicious circumstances which kind of paved the path for our investigation which led us to this point I'm sorry. We're still processing that, still working on that. Um, it's always significant when we find pieces of information that could help complete the puzzles for us, but we're still working on putting that together. Are they both cooperating at this point? I don't know that at this time. Were the two suspects uh, arrested together separately? That I don't know. Do you know where they were arrested? Uh, I, I don't know that. Can you talk about what police were doing at Mr. Wilson's home today? Saw a lot of animals being taken. 
I'm, I'm sure it's in regards to we're continuing our investigation. It's still very much ongoing and we're still collecting evidence and information as we speak. Um, so I do not know what they're doing at the home at this time, nor would I release that as, as I we're still working on that. Have you guys found any of the remains? No. What, what should the general public be looking for? I mean, if, you're, if, they're, if you're asking for them to come forward with something, what, what would you like to see? At this point, we're looking for locations, right? So locations are, are hard to pinpoint down. So the information that would be most helpful to us is anything that would just lead us to a general location that maybe we can piece together with some other evidence that we located during our investigation. So if we get a, a video footage from a business over near I-25 and Broadway or something like that, would maybe kind of bring that and help us hone that area down. So it's hard to say anything specific that we're looking for. It's just, you know, the smallest details can be the biggest tools that we have. So any re remembering locations, as I remember seeing that truck in this parking lot, uh, and then we can go to that business and we can confirm on maybe video, like, yeah, that truck was in that parking lot. Well, what were they doing in that parking lot? So there's a lot of moving pieces with it. So, you know, it's hard to pinpoint that, but any, any information at this point is helpful. Was, was there anything in the back of the truck that you guys in, we're looking at the contents of that truck and you know we it's hard to say if the remains were within those contents or or how that played out um, but we believe that is significant at this point so that's what we're trying to work out now as well You know, I'm still, I'm, I know we're still working on all of that. Um, if there was a reasoning or if we have done any interviews right now with the two that were arrested, we wouldn't release that at this point. Um, but that's something that will come out. Are there any other persons of interest or do you think it's just you? I, we're still working on that. Um, are you guys working with Denver at all? I don't know the agencies that we are working with. I haven't been told that. Um, so I don't want to uh, comment on who is helping us because I just don't know. So just, just um, but it is a large area of search. Here, though, since that's in Denver, the area you guys are focusing on, if people in that area find something of interest, can they reach out to you? Can they, they would reach out to the Lakewood Police Department. This is our case. We may be working with other agencies as our search takes us into their jurisdictions, but it'll we will still be taking lead on it. And I do have a phone number that we I can give you guys for that tip line. Um, that tip line will go to 303. 763-6800. I think that adds a different level of, like a different level to the investigation. Obviously we're working with somebody who's related to the victim and we're, we have to kind of figure out that kind of why question is what we're working on. We've honed down to who uh, we made that arrest, and now we just got to work on why so we can get justice in this case. Thank you, Thank you guys.